What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War and let's play as the United States. So to kind of round off what happened last time, we had a battle against the Prussians here in France and it did not go well for me at all. My army got routed and it is currently here licking its wounds, trying to put itself back together. Um, but what it did do is show me that I can't really just sit here and hunker down and not fight the Prussians. I have to be, have to go on the offensive and as part of that, what I would like to do is to try and open up a second front here down in the Balkans, sort of push in against the uh, Ottomans here, start capturing some of the other smaller settlements, but uh, more importantly, draw some of the forces away to deal with this new threat. And similarly, with this force at Tunis, that's currently sat around not doing anything, actually take this army and do something useful with it. So what I'd like to do is to recruit, like recruiting a handful of fours down here, Ah, right, there it is. There's a navy. Crew and admiral. So let's cancel all those fours. My income is still going up, which is good. And I know running out of money immediately isn't a problem, but if I start, you know, running out, then I need to sort that out sooner, sooner rather than later. Okay, Briggs, Sorazes. Okay, well it might, well it might, it is definitely a good idea to blockade that port to prevent them from moving out with the stacks. Not that they've done anything yet. They've not, they haven't moved out with anything yet, but it makes sense to uh, hold them off while I can. Good, get some more firths on the go. Um, but do I want to deploy? We well, do I want to deploy this army to attack this little pocket, or do I want to I really want to deploy this army here in the Balkans? I think I want to deploy into the Balkans. So I think I will recruit a fifth to sprint this over. Actually, no, I don't even do, no, I don't even need to do that. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, close. Cancel naval recruitment here. Take this army and tune is down to the port. Embark. Zip through the lines back to this commercial port here. Disembark. I do need to start uh, pressing forward because right now uh, the Ottomans are focusing all of their efforts. Well, here, not the Ottomans, sorry, the Prussians are focusing lots of their efforts in Western Europe. Um, I want to keep hold of Berlin, even though they hate me, because it would be. Actually, no, I want... why did I want to destroy that? That's what I want to do. Keep hold of Berlin because Berlin's a valuable city. And same with Königsberg. I am drawing up, drawing up a few stacks here, trying to lay siege. They were trying to capture my castle form from me. Come on, there we go. Okay, so then this army down here. To be honest, I think I do need to just pop this Maratha bubble. I think. Well, so let's do this. Let's fight and knock out this uh, pustule of Maratha resistance, and then I can get this army deployed and doing something new to deploy it to the Balkans as well. Strong push through the Middle East. I've got those two stacks, I can Jerusalem and they'll go over and attack Damas Damascus after that. And um, if we get to the Balkans, A, we'll so take Istanbul and then push east with it. But I do end up putting more pressure on. I do end up putting more pressure on the uh, the Ottomans in the long term. Okay, so this is battery up down here. Mm, Give me round shot. Fusil air to a unit of line infantry. 
They are just better at shooting, but they're less good at in the uh, in the melee. And they do have spikes, which is pretty cool. Well, they do. De they can deploy stakes. So this. They can deploy these here. I'm not deploying these here so that. This isn't my final de line, final deployment line. I will be moving up. These horse grenadier guards, which look beautiful. Yeah, this is an army to go on the offensive because they have mortars. Stay deploying here, so stay out of range of their guns, out of range of their artillery anyway. They do have some Hindu warriors back here. run a regiment of fusiliers up here to support this flank. My men are going to be t very tired from all this running. But they'll have to deal with it. But the Martin mortars are not firing for some reason. Artillery fire. No, they cannot fire shrapnel, so it's still round shot into these Hindu warriors. Letting them fire uh,
Go on, my fusiliers need to open up. They smash into that unit of fusiliers. They will hit, they will charge into my line. Fusiliers, but it's not the end of the world. Halt fire. Lovely bit of shooting into the <laughs> flank of that assaulting unit. Let's get my general to hoover those units up. on the nose really to just do this but so I don't want to send this unit to attack them because otherwise then this will become a great big melee and they're less of an easy blob to shoot at there we go so then they can charge into the flank of that unit you spin around and go here. There you go, and general. Oh, take out that last Hindu warrior. Excellent. Get you back in. Chase down. That unit of Hindu warriors. Charge them into the back of that unit. Japan in charge the unit of musketeers. Was that unit of Hindu warriors? And I think that's everyone apart from that unit of musketeers broken. So then it's now time to hoover up. Oh, the general has returned. Let's just see how well this you know 24 pounders do at extreme range. Whole barrels onto the general. Nope, they're aiming at completely the wrong thing, they're aiming at them for some god awful reason. So turn off fire well, do not do anything useful.
Bridge, you go to there. Grenade guards are rather good, aren't they? Ooh, this counts as an infantry unit. Because my guys are doing fire by rank into it. Into the elephants. Got him. Continue the battle. Not that it would be here if it would last for very long, but. Knock him down. Got him down. Let's speed up the last drags of the battle because these aren't gonna. Well, I don't know. I might destroy them because they've changed direction. And they're now quite far away from the line. Oh no, I won't destroy them because they're spread out everywhere. But what I will do is get a lot of kills. And they will flee. So what, 111 down to 65? Not too bad. But I can now free this army up to do something useful. Like, you know, the fuselers can form square, which is pretty good. And to be honest, the fuselers might do quite well against um, the Prussians, because the Prussians go cavalry heavy. Okay, well, let's do. Four infantry, two militia to protect Gibraltar. Just send out a bunch of infantry out to destroy the dregs. Victory is ours. Done. Reinforce, go back to Forward. Lisbon. Forward. Sweet. Sir. Yes, sir. And I think the other thing that I can do is this. They hide behind women's yeah, that's not a battle worth um, fighting at this stage. So let's just do that. Make ready. And this army is also in need of replenishment and they will go forward into the hills. And nope, not in. Forward. Into the hills. Ready and waiting for orders. Oh, are they Janissaries? Nizam wants to sit at infantry. Sir. Stay there and reinforce. Fix you. Build metal roads. Build a Pottery barn, I suppose. Okay. So let's recruit you. Mm, let's get some just colonial light horse. Don't want to recruit too much household cavalry in the Middle East, and at the same time, they don't really suit the fluff of cuirassiers. So then let's. Get some good guns. African guards. And that's the last of the African guards. Get a unit of colonial light. Oh no wait. I've got plenty of a... Uh, I've got plenty of an army pretty much in there. So you get rid of you. So what do you need? You need guns. You don't need any guards. You need two units of... So... Units of that and that, and then probably let's get some sort of. Eh, let's recruit some more sep sepoys. Sepoys. I don't know if sepoys is the accurate term for the for African inf African infantry. Yes. Good. So you're recruiting and ready. That's where the guns are coming from. 
Good, good, good. So you're all still recruiting. So none of mm. Yes, sir. No, in the name of safety, I'm going to get those guys up to the pleasure gardens and get them in Paris. Because I do not get much of a garrison. And then let's start building this army back up to strength. So let's disband this general's bodyguard. So you're getting your six artillery, you need two skirmish units and some sort of heavy infantry unit. I'm not sure the colonial light is going to be recruited from. Is it coming from Morocco? It is coming from Morocco. No, that's, that's far too long. Pat infantry, I suppose. Even though you're coming from a long way. No, you are coming from a long way. Two more units of line, I suppose. Sorry. So I want to move. Well, I don't want to move these really. I want to see if I can get on these things, get on these isolated. What you need to do is. Well, if I can bash you into Thomas Bookhart. That's fine. If I can, even if I push them west, it's okay, because I have another stack in the west. Um, Paris is garrisoned, maybe with reinforcements from this fort. So if they drive up north, I can, def I can defend, or I can definitely defend Paris against those two stacks. Just need to thin it. That's generally what I need to do. Gonna be a bit of a meat grinder in Western Europe for a few turns. That's what I think. But let's see before I go crazy with attacking. Peculiar. Okay. Let's see if they fancy advancing into my firepower. So you guys have pointed out before that I don't deploy my infantry solidly three ranks deep. It's because I don't necessarily want my line to be thin. I like there to be some weight to my units if I get charged maybe infantry. Because if I deploy maximum three three lines. It feels like cavalry can break in. Like if they take a few rounds of shooting, they become two and a weak, weak rear rank, and then if cavalry seems like it can smash through them easier. Um, it could all be in my head, but that's why I like doing it. I like having some bit of mass to my formations, and then at the same time to have um, re like uh, if I take if I take losses in this form, I can still keep up this level of firepower. Even after a few losses, let's just take you some well, the third Virginia regulars. Sit so in this case where I do want to, or say, except in this case. You and you group with you know light infantry. Then I've got here on the flank a unit of guards, Republican guards. Got my 
central militia unit. Got a unit of sharpshooters. Unit of clover on the left, pretend in hiding. Lee's Legion in is not hiding. Don't know if Legion can even hide. Can hide in woodland. Oh well. Pop them there for now. General's bodyguard in the centre. How it's a unit here. Disembarked. Well. Uh, see it there. Disembark. General in the centre. Oh wow! One turn. That artillery unit gone. Quick climb annihilated this unit of uh, this unit of cavalry. How it says focus fire on the mortar battery. Oh, quick climb shell coming in. Aiming for my artillery. Let's see, let's see how they do. They are still they survived. Shaken. Hundred and seventy four men in this artillery battery. So I'm firing shrapnel into that big block here. Fire shrapnel shot into your line infantry. There you go, quick climb shell still coming in. See, oh, shrapnel shot blew up, hitch, blew a chunk out of this line and carried on into this line. 12 pound how it's a 12 pound foot artillery mortars are routing good how it says reorientate your fire on to the infantry Turn my flank, get my light infantry within range of this light infantry. They get an open fire onto these Prussians. Let's 
drain to those hussars to try to get some sort of charge bonus. taking a battering. Sit there in a little square formation. It's a blocking force before they hit my guns. General's been shot to bits in the in the line battle. I get his eyes are trying to charge my line infantry in the square again. Who's our, who's our, who's our unit? How it's a unit? Break out to the rear, hit that unit of foot line infantry. This is your militia. Swiss Mountain Jaegers. Collapse like a paper bag.
If we can quickly take out their general, that would be great. Nope, don't care. Fine. Let's just go straight into the tuning of a line. You actually go straight into that mortar battery. Straight into the mortar battery, continue. Strain these more as the strain to that 12 pounder. unit. Oh, they're dead. No, not the militia. Yeah, go for the militia. They're the only thing that you'll probably be able to catch up to. Although my men aren't catching up. At the very least, if we don't destroy them, you know, I remove a lot of their veterancy. Maybe I will destroy them right at the edge when they think they have their freedom. Two. Now oh, they got away. Damn those middling kids. Super fast. Don't think they'll ever reach them before they escape, but you know, got to give it a shot. Yeah, there we go. The big red line. Excellent, though. They'll need to expand and make, need to expand and grow my line faster than they span, expand and grow theirs. If this unit is now off the line, they need a unit of cavalry, don't they? That's what they need. You're in France, so get a unit of cuirassiers. It'll take a while to get to you, but got to play with the hand you dealt. Don't move this army up to threaten Brussels, actually. Your humble servant. Eventually, they will. I will be attacked by two units, by two stacks of Westphalian troops. Um, but anyway, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.